Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. I have to say, I'm really impressed by this counter warmer. I did not have high hopes for it at first, but I finally caved and picked one up from Amazon, and yes, it's better than you think. It turned out to be one of my best purchases. So, first things first, I think the first questions that will be on most people's mind is, why a counter warmer? Why would anyone need one? And who would it benefit the most? As a person who loves burning candles, I found this counter warmer to be very beneficial. Now, don't get me wrong, I will always love the feeling of striking a match to light my candles. It's something I don't see myself giving up over a candle warmer. There isn't anything that will provide that feeling of seeing that candle flame flicker. But, emphasis on the but, there are some pretty big benefits to using a candle warmer. For instance, if you're not a fan of burning candles, this will be an amazing alternative to that. Especially if you're dealing with a candle that has dark soot or is very smoky while it's burning. I would suggest avoiding those drafts, but this is a very important point if you're a person with pets or children and you don't want a candle burning around them. I do want to point out that even though there isn't anything burning while using a candle warmer, I found the metal attached to the frosted glass to get very warm, which is expected since this is basically a heating lamp. Just something to note if you're looking into using a candle warmer. Avoid touching the metal part that houses the light bulb. This particular warmer has an anti-slip base so it would take a little force to tip it over with a candle on it, but things do happen. You could argue that you could just get a diffuser to avoid candles altogether. And while that's true to a certain extent, not all scents come in diffusers. So there may be a particular scent that you love, but it's only made as a candle, and that's where a candle warmer will come in. You get all of the benefits of a burning candle just without the flame and smoke. And yes, I've tried many different candles in my collection with various different types of waxes just to make sure, and I can confirm, the performance produced by this lamp is as if there is a candle burning. It's pretty impressive. And probably the most impressive thing I found with using a warmer is that it fixes tunneling like its life depended on it. I mean, the wax melts even every single time without fail. Now, one thing I dislike about burning candles the most is when you see that wax trying to tunnel, so you gotta go grab some aluminum foil to try and fix it. Unfortunately, tunneling happens sometimes, even in the best conditions. Yes, it is part of my maintenance to make sure all of my candles burn evenly, but it's nice to just have it melting under the warmer and not have to worry about anything. It's a nice feeling. So, if you're a person that doesn't want to worry about the upkeep of tunneling and candle maintenance, I'm telling you, this would be your best friend when it comes to candles. Speaking of wax, you may be thinking, how long does it actually take before the wax starts to melt under a warmer? Which brings me to why I picked this candle kind of warmer over many others. I can essentially control the intensity of the heat, and that's because of the features this particular warmer has. One being the dimmer, it's like controlling the flame if there was one. So with the dimmer turned all the way to the lowest setting, it could take 30 to 45 minutes before the wax start to melt. And with it turned to the highest setting, I noticed the wax starting to melt around the 10 minute mark. The lowest and the highest settings are both on the spectrum of extremes. For me personally, I keep it about at the halfway mark. That's where I found it to be most like a candle burning with a flame. It's what I'm used to. And after about two hours, that's when I turn it off and the wax is perfect and even every single time. There are brands that advertise that you can sleep while the candle warmer is on. And for me personally, I do not recommend doing that. There's just something about anything melting while I'm sleeping that just doesn't sit right with my soul. If you're brave enough to try it, then set a timer or something so you can wake up to turn it off. I did see a few warmers that has timers built in, so that may be a viable option if you're looking for that particular feature. The adjustable arm is another reason why I chose this over other warmers. It allows me to fit candles of different heights from 4 to around 8 inches. This is a great feature for the height of the wax inside of the candle vessel as well. The lower the wax is inside the vessel, the lower the arm will have to be, and vice versa if it's a fresh candle. I will have the arm adjusted to just above the rim of the candle vessel. Most other brands come with the fixed arm, which causes you to use more power from the bulb if the candle is on the shorter side. This arm even swivels from side to side, which allows me to easily remove the candle, which is a pretty nice feature. Now comparing top-down warmers to other types of warmers that melt from the bottom, I would pretty much go for the top-down warmer every time. With heating a candle from the bottom, it will take a very long time to start smelling the scent. And during this process, it could potentially damage or may even ruin the candle. It's not worth it. 
The top down warmer is basically melting the wax without using a flame. Like I said earlier, you get the same exact benefits. Okay, the build quality is something that I was actually surprised by. While it's not the best in my opinion, it's still better than I expected it to be. This kind of warmer is very sturdy and has a little weight to it, which is a plus if you have an active environment. My only negative feedback would be just with a few things. First, the adjustable arm could be more fluid with movement up and down. It seems like it needs a little oil. Second is the dimmer switch. It feels like a piece of flimsy plastic. It works perfectly fine, no issues or anything. It's just not aesthetically pleasing to me. And third, I don't know why, but the color of the core bothers me in contrast with the color of the lamp. We will get into the design style in a moment, but with this bronze gold color, I feel like the cord should have been a, some sort of gold color as well. I know I'm being insanely nitpicky, but I just wish it was more cohesive. This lamp is only about $60 on Amazon, so I, I shouldn't be too picky. It's still worth the purchase for me though. The design style of this lamp gives me a very vintage modern vibe. The body is finished in metal with nice frosted glass around in the bulb. When the light is on, it provides a nice warm ambiance. So make sure it matches with the decor you already have in your home if you're interested in picking it up. I was hesitant buying this at first because I thought it was going to be this oversized device that I do not need. But I bit the bullet and got it, and when it arrived, I was shocked to see that it was so compact. It's perfect for a small counter, desk, or bedside table. I mainly have it on my desk while I'm working. It creates a very warm atmosphere in my space. The indent you see on the base is basically the biggest width this warmer can support. Any candle bigger than that probably will not melt as nice and even. This comes in three colors, gold, which is what I have here, and I don't really consider it as gold. It's more like a bronze gold color. It's very subtle. There is also rose gold and black, which is my first choice, but they were sold out of that color, so that's how I ended up with gold. As I'm recording this, I think the gold and the rose gold colors are still available. If you're good at DIY, you could paint it a different color using some heat resistant paint to make it more tailored to your space. I would try it, but I don't think that will end so good. I will have this candle warmer linked in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. I found it to be something I didn't know I need until I got it. I won't be giving up the beautiful flicker from a flame, however, I will be reaching for a candle warmer whenever I want something different. Burning a candle provides me with a sense of peace and my warmer provides me with convenience in a way. It does all the work for me. You gotta love automation, right? It all comes down to preference. If you love candles but want a flameless option, a candle warmer will be perfect for you. I did not think that I would like it as much as I do, so it may be better than you think as well. Try it out and let me know what you think. That's gonna be all for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.